Now I know you've been having a pretty difficult time the last few months, and if you've been looking inside of yourself, you've been finding those answers. So congratulations to all of you who've been looking at opening up your third eye. What I'd like to do is just uh, look at a card and sometimes I get a little, a little message that comes crossed in the air or a picture or a symbol and with that I just decide, oh my goodness, what does that mean? And when I find out what it means, then I, I will tell you. I know you've all been looking forward to the end of June tarot reading. We're going to be doing the cosmic cosmic tarot today and um, I'm getting this really very powerful feeling that I'm actually not going to do just the end of June but I'm feeling like I need to move into July as well um, so let's get to it this is going to be your tarot intuitive read for the end of June and now actually the first of July as well so let's get to it so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shuffle the cards for a little while and I'm going to put in Two of the cards are intention for June, but as I told you before, I'm getting that read that I need to like maybe just do a little bit more into July as well. So I'm feeling like this, if this pertains to you, I said, oh, look at that one's already thinking it's wanting to pop out. Um, if this pertains to you, then what's going to happen is, um, as we've been going through these last few months, it's been a little difficult. We've been searching for answers and looking for some specific things, and I feel like things... I feel like uh, you're going to be finding those answers soon and things are going to be looking up for you. You're going to start seeing that a lot of your hard work you've been doing is paying off. So this is going to be your tarot, general tarot for till June, beginning of July. And I'll do another one later on as well. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you like this and uh, follow along because I'm going to be doing more of these. Um, you know, right now, I'm getting a pretty strong... Uh, feeling right now and I'm not sure if that's gonna come out or not in the read I'm gonna hold off for a second and let you know um <laughs> one of the things I like to let you know is that I just I don't do like a spread of any sort what I like to do is just kind of shuffle until one of the cards decides to show its face like this one just decided to pop up as I said show its face and so uh the emperor we're looking can you see that whoops it's the emperor. And it's so funny because it reminds me of a man named, it like reminds me of um, a very strong man. Very, very kind. If you look at his eyes, he is very kind. And surrounding him is a couple of, of um, can you see the, the rams in there? The rams. In the rams, um, what's that saying to me right now is that, oh wow. Um, I'm also seeing what is, um, looks like flames. Flames coming up on the sides. It looks like there's little flames coming up the side and then that's going up into the rams. And what that tells me is that this is an Aries. This is, uh, this gentleman's an Aries. And, um, it's the fire of the sign and the ram. <clears throat> it's a fire sign for sure. And I'm hearing the name David. Uh, David could be your name. It could be your father's name. It could be your brother's name. It could even be your middle name or it could be your husband's name. It could be your grandfather or someone that's passed away. It could be your spirit guide that uh, surrounds you. And so if um, this pertains to you and you know what this means, then you should really pay attention. Um, I have a feeling that uh, this is going to be someone very powerful within your life uh, in the end of June and also into, um, into July. Um, very jovial. Very jovial and kind, um, creative. I hear, I feel a lot of creativity around there as well. Um, but the emperor, he he has a lot of uh, richness to him. It's very warm where he is. Then he should, you know, if this is you and your name is David, you should be drinking more water. You should drink more water because you're a little dehydrated. Um, I'm seeing the name. I'm seeing a raisin, almost. And um, those raisins, you know, they when you put them in water, they go plump back up. So I feel like uh, you should be drinking some more water and be worrying about your health a little bit more. Um, because I don't think, I mean, you're a fire sign or this is a fire sign surrounding you. And so I'm feeling like it's a little hot and a little parched maybe. Um, and uh, so yeah, our Aries, Aries. Um, if this is a general reading and you're an Aries, I would definitely think that you have some good kindness, creativity coming your way. Some real big creativity coming your way. Oh yeah feeling good things in the month of June. The month of June and uh, into July, I'm feeling 
um, the name David. Um, that could be anyone, though. I mean, if you, you may know exactly what I'm talking about, or you may not know what I'm talking about, but I definitely think that um, you should definitely pay attention to the word David, either first name, last name, or it could be Aries, um, or, you know, not even a fire sign of an Aries, but maybe a Sag another sign that's a fire sign um but i'm getting the eeries but there's two of them so it could be a twin so, um i don't know exactly yet what that's gonna mean so i think that um we're gonna go ahead and look you know there's a, a beautiful scepter sitting there in the middle with a roundness and it almost reminds me of the world and i'm seeing the word tout le monde tout le monde is actually french um, and it means to the world, so I'm feeling uh, David of the world, or David is going to be creative amongst the world, is what I'm feeling. And um, there's some nice ocean colors behind, um, right around the neck area, the chakra area. And so I'm thinking um, there's the blue, but then there's also the greens. And so I'm thinking what we're looking at is a little bit of a heart and a throat chakra that we need to really pay attention to. Um, with the creativity, you've got to speak your voice and speak from your heart. So I've got them for David. If your name's David, you will know what this means. Um, we're going to go with another shuffle here. I'm just going to shuffle until we have it. Okay. Oh, Justin Bieber! It's Justin Bieber shows up. <laughs> it does look like Justin Bieber, don't you think? <laughs> now what we've got behind there, I see a little lion behind there. Do you see that? I'm getting a big feeling of a, a very um, watchful man. This is a man figure I'm getting. It's definitely a male figure and it's almost like the young boy is becoming the older man. Or the older man is watching over the younger boy. Um, this could be actually something to do with the David character. If you have a masculine man, it could be a man over you. Man that's looking out over you. Um, you have the, the moon right above you and uh, it's it's not full at all, but it reminds me of smiles, so I feel like something good is going to happen. Even though the uh, lion is behind. He's looking out at the boy, the young man, and the young man's looking out. But he has his eyes are gazed in two different directions, which makes me feel like he's confused. He's at a turning point. Uh, his turning point is trying to tell him... Um, Wow, he's on a journey. And I feel like um the journey is going to take him many many places. Um if you see it, um the way that the nine of wands is is um one, two, three, there are uh four in front of the, the young man and then there's five in back. Um so I definitely feel but they're they're less intrusive on the back, almost like the they can walk right through it. I'm feeling and the nine of wands here that uh, two different personalities, you've got the young man and the old wise soul. So I'm almost feeling like this is a past life. A past life that um, has brought him back into a younger form and uh, his journey's taken him two different places. Now it's, it's at the time where he needs to find out to go forward with the plan that was set in motion prior to your journey here or do you go with uh, the plan that you're now on. Yeah, I think that uh, this journey, this um, confusion of the two things are going to be happening is going to come between the um, 4th and the 9th of July, which is kind of why I'm thinking that maybe I was uh, being drawn to the month of July. There could be a man that you're interested in, but he may have his mind on two different things. And it may be that he has his mind on you, but also on uh, something he's working on, on in his life. It could also be that if you're a female and you are interested in a man, that he has two different uh, people he's looking at, um, potentially, or more. Um, a very feminine man here, though, so uh, this could be your masculine side. Also, if you're a female, you could be torn. If you're a male... Um, I definitely feel that you, uh, have a big choice to make. But that you'll be able to do it because if you think about it, you've got a serpent, a cobra coming up around the staff, and so a snake around the st staff, um, 
I'm really seeing that you better be truthful. Truthful with this. I don't think that you are being uh, truthful to yourself. You think you're lying to somebody. Okay. Those cosmic cords, they just like to jump out. I tell you, what are we going to have next? The Five of Cups. Oh my, this woman, she looks like a dead corpse. Look at that woman. Oh, she's not happy. In fact, uh, the light is not even on her face. It's as if uh, it's cold and all the spirits been taken out. Now, outside of, your, um, outside of her door, she's got the door open. And yet, all the cold air and all the wind is outside. Now, you would think that if she has a shawl on and she's cold, that she might go shut the door. But she doesn't. So I think she's waiting for someone. I think she's waiting for someone to come home or um, better yet, what it actually looks like is death. It looks like what happened is, is that she died and that as she's been sitting there the door just went open because there's little leaves up on the table and all the cups. The cups are uh, all over. There's nothing in the cups. She's very, very gray and very gray and blue and cold looking, don't you think? It looks like no one's visited her in a long time. Interesting that the plants are alive, yet she looks like death. And so what I'm thinking is, is that um, this is signifying that, um, let's see, we've got the Nine of Wands, and between the four and ninth, I think something's going to happen, and you're going to make a choice. But I think on the fifth, um, that choice, if you... Yes, yeah. The female side of you is going to die off. Um, if you're a masculine side, the female is going to die, and the masculine is going to take over a little bit more. So... Justin Bieber is not going to be Miley Cyrus, is what it's going to be. Miley Cyrus is going to go away and Bieber's going to persist. And that's just a, a kind of a, a togetherness, um, trying to say in pop culture way. Um, the, around the fifth, the female side's going to take a little sidestep and the masculine's going to take over. And um, remember, stay hydrated this month so far. Stay hydrated. And um, I feel like, I feel like David, the Aries David right there, is actually going to be the person that's watching out for this this uh, other person right here. Yeah, I do. And he's going to watch the transition happen. Lots of cards today. I'm thinking they want to show themselves to us, but I think it's because this is a general read. Oh my. Four of Pentacles in reverse, though. The Four of Pentacles in reverse. Again, what I'm getting from this is two. Two. Two people. Male and female again. Uh, and the color red. Male and female. Upside down. The house is upside down. Do you notice? If you look in the back corner, the, the, um, this, this is upside down house and I feel like what's going on within your own home is upside down and you might have to be making some changes soon in the month of June the end of June and the start of July the very start of July uh, between the two and the fourth I feel like your home environment is going to go upside down um, and you'll make some interesting choices at that time and then from the fourth on you're going to be uh, from the ninth the fourth through yeah a lot going on in the beginning of June for July for you. That's why I wasn't supposed to do the end of June. Apparently it's all July. I'm going to come back to the card in a little bit because I think it's kind of important. I think it's kind of important for you. Mm, Prince of Cups. That was scary. I just saw the Prince of Cups. It reminded me of something. It reminded me of these, uh, of India. Of India. And, uh... A lot about India coming up lately um, in the brain, so I'm thinking that there's something going on in India. Either I feel like I'm going to be going to India soon. Okay. Oh, Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands. <laughs> what I'm seeing here. Oh my. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. 
someone's going to get you pregnant. <laughs> someone's going to be getting pregnant and someone else doesn't want to be pregnant. They're kind of, uh, but they don't really not want it. They're just like, oh, I don't think they're ready for it. But what it looks like to me is that, um, oh, yes, um, in almost a joyful way, they're like, uh, no, no, I don't want to be pregnant, but, um, it's not going to happen. <laughs> if you don't want to be pregnant, you should be using some contraceptive soon. Because it looks like around the beginning of July, um, you're going to be having two things happen. There's going to be two people in your life. Um, the female is going to be having some issues. The female side is going to be having some issues. Well, the male side, there's going to be two, there's going to be two, there's going to be two. It always comes back to two. You're upside down in the house. And what it looks like is that um, there's a possibility that you'll be getting pregnant. Pregnant. Um, I'm seeing this because if you look up into the sky, I'm seeing in the sky there's a sun and then the sword is entering it. And it's making me think of um, almost like a sperm entering into the egg. And so what that's doing is it's telling me that um, there's possibility that you're going to be getting pregnant. And a lot of them are going to be fighting their way in. And you might not want it, but look, actually it's putting it right into there. So what I would say is that if you're not looking to be pregnant, um, probably around the 7th, don't be having any sex. Any give or take 10 days around the 7th, don't be having any sex unless you're thinking you may be getting pregnant. Also use your contraceptive. That's what I'm seeing. Because the numbers are two, 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 two. Let's, let's look at this. Hold on. Let me get this off for a second and I'll show you. This is what we're seeing here. So this month, it was telling, I was saying month of June, month of June, month of June. But it's July, it's July, it's July. Starting off, we've got this very, very powerful um, emperor. And it's almost like a joyful king. Uh, Sagittarius. Uh, it could also be any other fire sign. A twin sign. But what I'm seeing is the fire. And I'm seeing the rams. I'm seeing the rams that are being actually... Uh, yeah, drink lots of water. As I keep seeing water. Kind of looks like you need some water. And uh, working on that throat chakra. Throat and heart chakra. Um, if you could do some guided meditation this month, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, put on headphones and plug into some guided meditation and really work on those two chakras. Um, balancing them all would be great, but I'm really seeing the, uh, the heart and the throat chakras are the month. And because everything's coming into use this month for me. At the beginning of July, everything is too. And then if you look right here at the lambs, that's why, I mean, the rams, that's why I'm seeing that it's, uh, it's an Aries. Mostly an Aries. Can be any any fire sign though, and I'm um, seeing the name David quite a bit, quite a bit. David, very very kind eyes. Creative. I'm seeing a lot of creative things as well for you this month. So just keep doing whatever it is you're doing, and look over here. Now this is confusion. This is the twos, twos and confusion. You look at that. There we go, a little bit better. And there's some powers of nine. So between um, the fourth and the ninth of the month, I'm really thinking these things are going to be the most strong for you, the most powerful. You're going to be having someone looking out over you. You're going to have someone, but you're looking away. They'll be watching over you. You'll be looking at something else, but your eyes are going to be going in two different directions because you're not quite 100% sure on what's going on. Remember, it's kind of like the beaver, little metro, little female male right there and then also you've got the smile over you looking overhead so even though this guy's looking out over the shoulder he's kind of got his grasp on you there's also that oh, up in the sky if you look now that reminds me of a smile so I think that whatever you're doing you're doing well but make sure you watch out you've got this person right there too and that can either be the self of you it can be your uh, conscious it could actually be your spirit guide it could be a past relative it could be a family member it could also be a husband a wife it doesn't have to be masculine but I'm getting the masculine energy from it and then we've got right here, we've got the woman. Now again, she's cold, door's not shut, the wind is coming in from the outside. Um, but yet, she's cold, she's got cold hands, cold everything. You look at it, the plants are still alive, but the cups are gone. And look at that, no water, no water. Hmm. Hmm. Remember what I said about drinking your water? Looking thirsty. Everybody's looking thirsty. Water's life, guys. Maybe that's what that's telling us right there. The water's life. Yeah, feeling a lot with that. I got the upside down, man and woman. He's an older male, 
And maybe that's the person that's looking out over here over the shoulder, but the older male is there and is, the world's turned up for you a little bit because I think you're confused, a little bit confused. And then you've got um, the, the home life is upside down. You know what, now that I've got this cord over here and, the, and I'm thinking of, like, it means like your kitchen um, possibly they are pregnant, this could actually be the doctor. This could be the doctor. And that could be what's turning you upside down because maybe you don't want to be getting pregnant. And look, it's almost like you're a patient in the hospital. Mm -hmm. And the flower, I think, is representing the life. Um, it doesn't look very happy. It doesn't look very happy. This isn't something that you're planning for. So if you're not planning for it, please um, just be extra careful. I don't think it's your time to be having a lot of sex this month because it looks like there's going to be a lot of things coming in around the 7th that are fighting their way in. Uh, you may try your best to keep it away, but um, I don't think it's going to do you any good because it looks like it's going to come right inside. I don't think it's going to do you any good, you know. Because if you're doing that, you're having the sex, there's some holes, whatever you're in. You might think you're doing good, but I think that the power of life is probably going to take over this month. And um, you're a little too confused right now to be making the decisions. So just be really careful this month in the month of July at the very beginning. Or you might have some issues and things come up that you weren't really looking for. I hope that this uh, was helpful for you. A lot of the things you've been working so hard for are really going to come into fruition. So um, maybe putting your efforts into uh, non-sexual behaviors and going out into the universe with those things, drinking your water, really concentrating your heart. And then also, as I said, I'm seeing this third eye right here. I really want you to be taking some time with that every single day. I want you to be just really concentrating on um, feeling the power of that because efforts in everyone that we have that power and sometimes we forget to use it and don't forget to ask the universe to come into your life and you can just say you know what I accept and I'm ready I would like you to come in I have the tools I have the skills I'm ready for this and I want this and when you put that out in the universe that you have the tools and you have the skills and you're ready for this and you want this uh, and you want this it'll come back to you ask the um, help of your spirits and your guides and they will come to you but just remember to always put your white circle of light around you. Um, some people it's a tube of light that goes from the um, heavens down to the earth. For some people it's a vortex that starts at their feet and goes up over their head and over the crown chakra. Um, but this is a white circle of light and it could actually come from the inside out. And it could start at the bottom, it could start at the top, it could start um, in your heart and just and that kind of puts that little barrier up and it's really great to do that before you start working on the eye and also before you start asking for your spirits to come in because sometimes you may be asking for the positive and the positive may seem positive the positive is not positive it's actually negative so when you're working on that you really need to be thinking only positive things and positive intentions and even if you have someone in your life who's not really a positive on you uh, don't really don't um, dwell on the negative. If you're having a health issue, don't dwell on the negative of the issue. Drink on the positive of it. Think of the, the positive of it. The positive is, is that, oh, now I know that I have this problem and now I am taking better care of myself because maybe I wasn't taking time for stress relief. Maybe I wasn't taking time to sleep as much. Maybe I wasn't drinking as much water. So the better you are on the inside, the better you are on the outside. The better you are uh, all around, the better able you are to open up that eye and the heart and to uh, love and accept those around you. And by doing so, you will accept yourself better. And by doing that, others will accept you better. And then you'll be better able to really get what it is that you want. If you're looking for love, first love yourself. And um, other than that, I've got more messages coming your way. And I know that you're ready for them. So I'm going to give them to you here in the future. But until then, have a blessed week.